What's going on guys? It's another gorgeous day here. You can see right now it's like, I think it's like 70 degrees right now. Absolutely beautiful. So I just finished organizing the garage a little bit. I had so many things like right over there. It was unreal. Like you couldn't even walk through. So organized it a bunch. Have a bunch of like stuff up here too, but yeah, I just needed some walking space and I needed space. So once I get the SR20 out, I can put it to the side and uh, put it up for sale. But uh, yeah, today I just plan on tackling a few of the little things um, so I can get this engine out. So I'm just gonna do the little things today. Um, John has two of my jack stands, so I can't uh, put this thing all the way up as far as I want on jack stands. So I can, you know, get the drive shaft out, undo the motor mounts, the trans mount. So, yeah, I'm just gonna do a little bit, a uh, little bit of work today, just to get something done. Um, that's pretty much the plan. Just gonna do a little bit of work, and then we'll come back um, maybe tomorrow and do some more work on it. Because I'd like to have this thing out, you know, pretty pretty soon, so I can start fixing the rust that needs to be fixed. Um, I have to tuck the harness inside. That's going to be a little bit of a project on its own. Uh, what else do we have to do? I'm going to end up painting the engine bay, but uh, yeah, we got to clearance. I think the trans tunnel because I don't think it's been done yet. Because there's no need to with an SR20. It's small enough. But. Um, yeah, that's the plan. I'm gonna start working on it a little bit. Um, and we'll probably finish the rest another day. So let's get started. What's up, brother? I think I need to get new pants. Things sag a little bit too much. Show my butt. <clears throat> That's where I'm probably going to end it today. <clears throat> I just got back from getting a drink, so... Got uh, all the tubing off, intake piping, um, front mount intercooler, got the radiator out. Pretty much got the harness all laying right there. And I'm going to probably come back um, another day, and um, I'll have my other jack stands with me so I can jack the rear up. So I'll be able to jack the rear up. Um, I can get under there, get the drive shaft out, and do the um, 
and do the trans mount. Not sure if I want to just take out the SR just by itself yet or take the trans out um, away from the engine, blah, blah, blah. Um, there's actually plenty of room down there for me to seek my hand and get the bolts off. So I might just take the engine out and then just slide the trans out. And I think that would be a little bit easier. But uh, yeah, we'll definitely come back um, another day to do that. It's a nice day. I kind of want to get outside and enjoy the weather while I can. So a little bit done. So uh, we'll fast forward to the next day. All right, guys, we got the downpipe off. The one bolt was a real pain, so gonna do the uh, gonna do the trans mount now, and then I will probably I'll take the drive shaft out. Hopefully, I can do it with the exhaust in. So that's the plan. I'm not gonna film it. It's a little uh, a little difficult to see anything down here, regardless. So I'll catch up to you. I'll catch up to you guys when uh, when I get it done. All right, guys, after a little break, <clears throat> I ended up getting the, uh, the drive shaft out. Those bolts were rusty. They fought me. The down pipe, I had one bolt left. That's where we left off. And that one, that one fought me just because of the angle. So I had to, um, I had a Craftsman 12 mil that I ended up just chopping in half so I can get in there because I don't have my small wrenches with me. So I got in there, got that bolt off. So that's all out. I just took it all off as one piece, slid it right out. As you can see, got the drive shaft out. Um, ended up taking the uh, trans mount bolts off. Um, trans ended up sagging down. And then I did the, um, undid the motor mount nuts. Just uh, underneath, it's like two 14 millimeters, I think. Took that out. Um, just a pain doing this all on the ground, you know. Cause I'm on my back and it's just like a, it's a pain but yep got it all set up right now outside I had to this is exactly what I did with my s13 I had to put the front end on um, just two blocks um, that helps with getting this um, hoist as far as you can forward usually I would take this off the um, the bash bar in the front but I said screw it got it all set up everything should be off there might be a few little things like I, I know there's one there's one zip tie over here I gotta cut. I can't find my wire cutters yet, but I gotta cut that and um, yeah this thing's definitely ready to come out so I'll set this up and uh, we'll get this thing out.
go. Switch them out. What's up guys? So we just left off with the uh, SR20 getting pulled out just a little bit. Um, I can't find the footage for some reason. I don't know if my GoPro stopped working, but we ended up just yanking the engine all the way out. Um, it was really easy. It was it was getting stuck in the trans tunnel, so I just had to jack the tail shaft end of it up and it just boop, popped right out. So um, that's pretty much where we uh, left off. Got the SR20 out. Um, trans was obviously attached, so it came out nice and easy once you just jacked the trans up. And, um, yeah, so sr 20 is out, and, uh, it'll be getting sold within the next week, so stay tuned for more videos. Thanks for watching, guys.